All right, so first off, I'm going to paint a tree in the way that I see a lot of people paint them. And funny enough, I feel like a lot of people paint them this way because they saw Bob Ross do it. <laughs> and the thing you got to know about Bob Ross is that what he does is a very specific style and he needs specific materials to do his style. And honestly, it's, it's really not the best way to learn how to oil paint. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. Um, but just know, like, if you took any kind of oil painting class in college or at an art center anywhere, that they're not going to, uh, not going to teach it that way. All right. So what most people do what I see, they'll mix up the darkest green they can. Normally it's a really high chromatic green, I mean, like a very... Uh, unnatural looking green and then they'll do they'll put the, the trunk and then they'll do this stuff you know getting bigger I'm actually making this too good to <laughs> illustrate the, the problems that I see. We'll do this this Christmas tree thing here. Then they'll mix up the brightest, most vibrant highlight green that they can. And then they'll go back and do the, the same thing with the, the highlight best they can. And when that happens, they'll, they'll try to make the paint even thicker. And then they'll take their small little brush and they'll make, they'll get their brown. I don't have a brown here, so I'm just going to mix a brown real quick. And they'll figure out where to put little bits of the tree trunk. All right, now the way I like to do trees. First off, I am gonna mix up a dark green. And when you're mixing greens, it's important to uh, desaturate them when doing uh, any kind of trees or foliage or anything like that. So when I mix you know, my blue, my ultramarine blue, and my uh, cad lemon, I want to make sure to knock it back a little bit so I take a little bit of the cadmium red and I just neutralize it a little bit. Now I want this green to be very dark because it's going to be the darkest darks of the tree. Kind of dark, start a darker pile over here. And this dark paint's going to be pretty thin because I'm going to be building over top of it, so I thinned it out a lot with my uh, my Gamsol paint thinner here. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it right here. 
thing with trees also to be aware of, I'm using a flat. It's actually a, a size six flat. I like the flats because I can I can turn the brush on its side and just get a bunch of random uh, brush marks. And with trees and pretty much any you know a lot of things in landscape and nature, you don't want it to be uniform. Like this up here is a perfect triangle. You know everything's a little too uniform. So you want to have a good amount of uh, randomness. You know within your tree. You know, but it still does gradually get bigger as it goes down, but it's a little more random. And then I'm going to figure out where the sunlight would be coming from, so I'm just going to say it's going to come from the right. And now I'm going to mix up, actually, actually I already have it. I'm going to mix up a, uh, a mid-tone green, which is something around here. Not a full highlight, but a mid-tone. Again, keeping it desaturated with my red into my green here. And a big mistake I see a lot of people make is they make the highlights on the tree too light. Now this isn't a highlight, but I believe in making this mid-tone a little too too light. And another thing to notice before I do this is you're going to keep uh, a lot of the this darkest dark here. You're going to kind of keep tend to keep a lot of it towards the center of the tree because that's where the less light is going to get because you know it's closer to the center of the tree. All the branches are blocking out all the light, so you're going to see I'm going to tend to keep a lot of the darks within there. You see I pretty much almost completely get rid of that really dark green. And just leave it mainly as just kind of an accent color. Now onto the highlight. And this is a pretty simple uh, painting of a tree. You know, there's a lot of different trees, a lot of different colors. You know, there's sometimes these pine trees get a lot of red in them. I'll actually do that. I think that's pretty cool. And a lot of these pine trees, they get some burnt branches or dying off branches and they get pretty red which I think always looks pretty nice so I'm gonna mix up a highlight color here I'm see I'm just branching off from my mid-tone color and I'm not getting it too bright I'm not I'm really being mindful of not pushing this tree out of its proper value range let's see and again, uh, I've decided, you know, just for this example, light is coming from this way. Yeah. Again, always trying to be as random with my brush marks not random with where I'm putting it because you know I'm, I'm being aware that the light is coming from the right side but then I don't want like a very perfect uniform just all right right side duh, 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 duh. like I'm, I'm still you know I'm getting a little bit to the left here and there Let's see if I can even go one more notch brighter.
See, I'm being very reserved with this final highlight. And for the trunk of the tree, I recommend going with some cad red and some white. Like trunks of trees tend to lean more towards the red. Yeah, there's, it's it's brown, but kind of pushing the red a little bit, I feel like helps the complement of you know the complement of greenish red. So it's going to just kind of sit well with it. I'm going to knock back this red a little bit with let's take some of my green here from the tree to make it not such a vibrant red. You don't want it looking like a fire truck. And this I'm going to be pretty pretty sparing with it. And I'm using I'm using a flat again. I really like using flats. This is a one so it's a small flat and I'm just going to kind of turn it on its edge. Just use the edge here to get some straight lines. And again, being careful. The last thing I want to do is overdo it. The last thing I want also is, you know, say like this is like an inch down and I put a line. I don't want like my next, like this one to be another inch down. Uh, I think from there to there. Yeah, from there to there is definitely shorter from there to there. Um, but that's the last thing you want is like to have these little indications of the trunk be perfectly evenly spaced out, you know, going down the tree. Because that's just not going to, it's not going to read very well. You know what, I want to, I really like when they have those reds in there. So I'm going to throw in. couple of those to give it some character. And if you say like if you got to this point and you realize you kind of knocked away too many of your initial like darkest dark it's totally fine to go back to it you know but you want to kind of establish that the best you can and try not to lose it because it is always a little tougher to go back in with a dark once you've painted some lights but for this particular situation I think it'll be okay but you can always kind of go back in there and reshape things if you want or if you uh, kind of created too much of a, of a perfect pattern with your colors and your shapes you can go back with this and break it up so again always you know being aware that the light's coming from this way keeping this side dark I like that nice little tree you can see that in the landscape somewhere simple if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I also offer you this video and this video. Please choose one. They're both good.